And this is TVC News at 7, reaching you live from my headquarters here in Lagos. We begin from Sierra Leone, where voters will head to the post to elect their next president tomorrow, Saturday. This is the fifth presidential election since the Civil War ended in 2002. Sierra Leone has seen waves of violence in recent months. Last year, there were deadly anti-government protests over rising cost of living and economic hardship. According to a spokesperson for the Electoral Commission, around 52.4% of registered voters are aged between 18 and 35 years old. Voters will choose between incumbent President Julius Madabiu of the Sierra Leone People's Party and Sumura Kamara, leader of main opposition party, the All People's Congress. In a joint statement by the ECOWAS and AU missions, there are concerns over violence and intimidation reported in some parts of the country. They warned that the incident could mar the peaceful conduct of the elections. The mission met with 13 presidential candidates and called on all political stakeholders to do their part toward ensuring a peaceful electoral process in line with national, regional, and international standards. And joining me on the news at 7 to further discuss the Sierra Leone election and the economic woes is Global Affairs Analyst Paul Ejimi. Good to have you join us. Thank you for having me. So I understand you were a member of the ECOWAS um, observer team or the observation team in 2018, and you're also now um, a part of that team um, on ground in Sierra Leone. Between 2018 and now, um, how far would you say Sierra Leone has come um, in its democracy, especially after the Civil War? Well, as, as you said in your introduction, this is the fifth election, the, um, the electoral cycle after the war of uh, 1991 to 2002. And uh, five years is, um, is a long time, but it's also a short time in, um, in the life of a nation. Um, the um, SLPP, the Syrian People's Party of uh, uh, President uh, uh, Julius Madabu, Madabio uh, defeated the same man of uh, APC um, that um, he's running against um, in um, uh, 2018 when uh, President um, uh, Kuruma uh, handed um, power. So APC was in government but lost to SLPP. And now uh, the, the um, contest remains tense. Um, these are the these are the two dominant um, political part powers. They have shared, you know, alternative power two, twice, um, relatively peacefully. Um, but um, in the run up to this election, there have been skirmishes uh, because the country appears polarized, regionalized, and then there is ethnic um, tendency, and then the role of the social media. There's one blogger based in the Netherlands who is causing, um, you know, sending some incendiary uh, messages and they're trying to radicalize uh, the youth. So there have been uh, these um, um, incidents of violence and intimidation. And so the APC is uh, making complaints against um, the um, uh, Electoral Commission and then the uh, security forces. But this is not new in politics. When uh, in 2018, it was the SLPP that was also making the same um, allegations. Mm -hmm. But there are issues economically. Uh, Sierra Leone is a very young, um, uh, you know, uh, population. I, I, I will get to those are issues, um, I'll get to those no issues in, in just a moment, Mr. Ajame, because I, I want to um, glean as much as I can from you, uh, because you are on ground there. Um, there are concerns um, from the opposition about the um, electoral umpire. That they say that Luke, um, he was put there by the um, incumbent president, um, and so there is they are questioning um, the credibility of the process. So what have you seen and heard in, in that regard? Yes, um, almost all the um, international observers the AU, the ECOWAS, um, EU, uh, Qatar Foundation, and then there is also the um, um, ECOWAS uh, Council of, um, of the Wise, uh, Commonwealth, 
they are all here and they are making the same um, findings that um, there are skirmishes, uh, all be, be it, um, you know, isolated. But uh, if not um, uh, nipped in the board, they said AU and uh, ECOWAS came out with a, a statement that if this, this is not arrested, that it could mar the peaceful uh, conduct of the election. So that is what there have been. AP, APC has complained about the burning of its uh, uh, headquarters in Bo, in the um, eastern districts, uh, the stronghold of uh, the ruling party, SLPP. And then they have also complained about the uh, voters' register. And then the tabulation of uh, results. They want everything done um, um, electronically, but um, the Electoral Commission is saying that they are doing a hybrid of um, you know, using them electronic and manual, and so on and so forth. So these are some of the, but you wonder why are they, that have also been called out by the opposition for, you know, protests. But um, the Electoral Commission says that um, the problem is with the APC because they, they had an interim leadership that uh, handed, uh, you know, um, handed over power to, um, you know, uh, elected uh, um, officials, and they are saying that they had addressed, that is the Electoral Commission, said that the issues that they had addressed already with the interim uh, leadership of the APC, that the new leadership is now going back on them. Mm. Because we wonder, uh, days to the election, is that when they are going to, they're even asking for the audits of uh, the electoral um, uh, voters uh, register. And so this demands um, things that um, you thought um, they would have uh, handled. Uh, but there, there is the, what you call the, they signed up to what you call the peace pledge, all the um, uh, candidates. And then there is also the um, uh, political party regulations um, uh, commission. There is the peace um, uh, commission and the uh, cohesion of national cohesion. They are all working to get um, everybody on board so that uh, this election will mm. pass up, you know, very peacefully. But is there, there are, you know, there is tension, uh, but um, every, there is the appeal from the ECOWAS and all the international and, and we are for hoping that de escalation um, of the tension. And we're hoping that, you know, everyone, all stakeholders will heed um, that appeal coming from ECOWAS and the AU. I'm sure that we will speak to you. Um, more often as um, this election commences tomorrow. Thank you so much for talking to us as always. International Affairs Analyst Paul Ejimi.